water springs life. It sustained early agriculture system, domestic needs, travel, and the foundation of many communities all over the world. Without it, humans will cease to exist. Dako yun ako, pagila sa tubig. Dako yun ako ang pagluhod. Dako yun ako pagrespeto. Kung wai tubig, wala na ingon ng paubos. Dili yun sa mga matanto mabuhi. In the Philippines, water is the lifeblood of early Filipinos. It is well entrenched in the country's customs and traditions, chronicled in the country's rich cultural history. Historically, we all settled in the rivers. I think for most of the uh, cities and towns uh, scattered in the, all over the Philippines, we noticed that uh, we, most of us uh, settled first in the river. No? So it's an important part of our history and today we still rely on river for uh, water, uh, fishing and other uh, resources that we derive from it and I, I would say that uh, we should protect the river and uh, uh, take care of it. Today, water is the driver of economic development in the country. The Philippines is greatly endowed with rich and abundant water resources necessary for its economic development. The extensive groundwater reservoir aggregates to about 50,000 square kilometers and rainfall averages to 2,400 millimeters per year. An estimated 146 million cubic meter per year of water resources is available to supply the country's water needs. The country has 421 principal river basins, which constitute 70% of the country's terrestrial area. From these principal river basins, 18 are considered as major river basins, which comprise 36% of the total land mass of the country. Despite its abundance, many communities in far-flung areas are suffering from scarcity of water. In 2025, the country is projected to face water shortage with an estimated demand of 85,401 MCM and total projected available water of 60,568 MCM or short of approximately 25,000 MCM. The impending shortage is attributed to unharvested surface water, excessive groundwater extraction, saline intrusion, forest degradation, land conversion, and prolonged dry season due to climate change. To ensure continued water supply, the government instituted measures to protect and conserve water with the creation in 2006 of the River Basin Control Office in the DENR. Malaki yung papel natin na mapatupad yung watershed management framework. No? Kaya nga lahat ng mga rehabilitations, lahat ng mga programs natin sa mga watersheds ay uh, doon nakakarga sa watershed uh, management framework. The RBCO spearheaded the formulation development of Integrated River Basin Management and Development IRBMD master plans for the 18 major river basins and three principal river basins in the country. The government continuously implements the following measures to conserve water for domestic, industrial, agriculture and energy generation purposes. River basin rehabilitation through the National Greening Program, wetland management, groundwater management and other water resources management and development, construction of dams for irrigation energy and other uses. Ang maganda po ang natatagpo dito sa Bayan Ramon, 1.2 billion cubic meter of water 
dapat uh, supplies 100,000 more than 100,000 hectares so uh, agricultural land within the region The DENR, through the RBCO, is coordinating with the DPWH for the implementation of flood control and mitigation programs aligned with the RA9729 Climate Change Act and RA10121 Philippine Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Act to ensure people's safety in times of natural disasters like typhoons. Water harvesting technology is also promoted to store water for domestic and irrigation purposes during prolonged dry season. Also implemented are livelihood projects and other economic opportunities benefiting communities and other stakeholders. Ecotourism programs and development. Water is life and for Manobos of Agusan Marsh, without it their tribe will cease to exist. Agusan enjoys an all-year-round abundant supply of water. Tungod sa mong pag-amping kami na inaapiktaran, pinaglaom ng Agusan Mars. Kaya kung ato ning paghahubsan, dali mahurot ang isda o mawala ang ginayahan. However, this abundance is also problematic to some communities as they are frequently flooded and their lives are affected. Kailangan natin ng tubig sa araw-araw, pero pag uh, labis-labis naman yung tubig, Eh, medyo nakakasira din po sa kabuhayan po namin dito. While the national government is continuously implementing programs to conserve water resources, other efforts from concerned stakeholders and local government units are worth mentioning. Dapat nating i-preserve at i-develop ang natitirang kalikasan sa atin. Baka balang araw kung mawala yung mga kahoy natin, Eh, wala na yung tubig natin. Pag wala ng tubig, wala na rin tao. Policies and ordinances were also issued to protect water resources. Stakeholders also contribute through the conduct of activities that are meant to conserve and preserve water and the environment. Inimintin namin ang cleanliness, ma'am. We usually have a tree planting monthly and every week we have a clean up, clean, clean up, up drive under the Pinakanawan River, this uh, river bank. And controlling also the Kaingeros in tilling the mountain top para may avoid yung landslide, yung plus landslide. Ang mga miyembro po ng asosyasyon, tumutulog po sila sa pagtatanim ng mga kaya, mag tree planting po kami, tapos sa uh, weekly po na clean up drive po kami sa mga tabi ng ilog, uh, regularly, yung City Environment and Natural Services Office natin ay nag initiate yan ng regular river clean-up activity no? involving a lot of se sectors not only to clean the river but to uh, develop an, an advocacy na dapat gawin natin to no? pa para maproteksyon na natin ang river natin. So, I believe the council has done uh, many varied efforts among others the advocacy making us aware of how important the river basins is and both in the education dimension uh, as well as uh, you know in the cleanup of the river basins in the storage of water even the, in the awareness of how we distribute water the importance of tree planting uh, all of these are very important steps of the Cebu river basins as well as the linkages with the government agencies and government officials who also espouse the same advocacy, making us aware of how important, how, how uh, beneficial, and of course, the, the, the reality of the, the need you know, for, for water, clean water for that matter, and of course, water that is in its very essence the source of life. For all of us. To date, 21 river basins have already finalized their Integrated River Basin Management and Development Master Plan for effective management and governance of Philippine water resources. Ang pagmamanage ng ating uh, river basin or uh, water resources ay napakalaki yung papel ng bawat isa, bawat stakeholders. So, with that, masabi natin na ang bawat isa ay 
part ng solution. So, ang role of our uh, RBCO ay to continue to make uh, everyone be aware that they are uh, part of the solutions and partly naging dahilan din of the problem that we have now in our uh, river basin. So, ma-solve yan or you'll be able to minimize yung problem pagsama-sama uh, magtulungan yung problem. With these efforts and with the help of all stakeholders, we can save rivers and other water resources. And at the same time, we can save lives.